Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe and having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. It's still fairly early in the morning. I've been sketching in paper by WeTransfer, formerly paper by 53. I thought I would give the marker pens a bit of a go this time. And I used the pens to color in this ink drawing. What was really nice, you can do an ink drawing and use the pens on the same layer and it doesn't um, disturb the ink. So let's just wade straight into the video and I'll show you exactly how I did it. I thought I would do a sketch in paper by WeTransfer or previously known as paper by 53. Uh, so let's go to a new page. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I fancy a sort of an ink sketch. Let's get some, something with some black ink in. Oh, dark brown, that'll do. Um, an ink sketch. And I'm going to do this scene of Venice, which my daughter Frances took a while ago uh, when she was, uh, I guess, touring, touring the world. Um, her and her boyfriend went backpacking for about two and a half years, I think. And they got to see lots of wonderful places and took lots of um, awesome photos. I'm just going to put a few guidelines in with pencil before I start um, getting in with the ink properly. Now, clearly, I am not going to put in that um, motorboat, that's not very Venice, is it? So I'm thinking we've got to go with the uh, with the gondola, though. That's that's quite important. Well, it's not quite important, but it'll be fun to do. This is going to be a fun sketch, really. I don't know. Almost, I've got in my head, it's going to be sort of graphic. Just move that out of the way a second. A bit more graphic. Now, I've got a microphone in the way of my bundle. I'm just going to move that out of the way a bit of my reference image. Now, keyboard's in the way as well. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. Um, Right. So he kind of goes here. I'm lifting him up as well. Uh, this this guy, I'm I'm putting putting him higher up uh, for the sake of composition. Going off the so that means the boat is more like that. Let's get the eraser for a second. Let's just I kind of want to. Let me zoom out. I've still got that eraser selected, haven't I? There we go. I'll push that back out of the way. It's been a while since I've used this app. Uh, I sort of rediscovered it and then forgot about it again. There we go. I'm thinking uh, uh, I might use marker pens 
for the uh, coloring in because I want I kind of want really vibrant bright colors on it on this uh, inky background I suppose I should really um, invest in the full version so I could use layers because that would have been nice with this um, with this pencil putting it on a different layer then I could just get get rid of it there's another gondola there but I shan't put that one in that'll do and then we've got this sort of really lovely dogs going off there these posts coming up to about there I guess checking out being very conscious of the perspective here Hmm, it kind of goes off like that, doesn't it? So that's okay. That's a bit jutting out like that. I'm itching, I want to get on with the, with the ink bit. That kind of comes just underneath that window there. I think that needs to be a bit further over. because I'm not got layers I've got to keep these lines really thin I guess Just sort of checking that line through there, look, so I can put this window in. Like that. And then this doorway. Oh, what that? oh it's an hotel. It's signed for an hotel. Do I need... I don't think I need that. I think that just takes away... from the uh, quaintness of the old scene, really. I keep using that eraser just to keep it nice and tidy. Because once I go in with this, whatever marks I make, I've got to live with it, I suppose. You know, it's amazing how many times I've seen artists when I've been teaching. Well, there'll be a line that clearly goes up like that, and they'll put it down or horizontal, and it's just a little bit of observation, really. these three windows like kind of lines up there with the post one two like that like that Come over this just past there that's looking right I thought this was going to be really simple uh when I looked at it, I thought, oh, yeah, there's only a few lines in there. I just weighed straight in with the ink. And then I thought, hang on a minute. 
we've got we've got a lot of perspective going off here got some more windows up there as well look I need to uh, plan it out a little bit more careful than um, I'd initially thought so I've got this thing here with like that and a little bit of squiggly you can't beat a bit of squiggle uh, that'll do for that and more tall windows like that they go like that don't they do they do the same yeah they kind of go like that because we've got these lines in there Talking to myself, sorry. I didn't worry too much about all of that detail, I can sort that out. And then that's probably as high as I want to go. So this bit should be fairly straightforward. Uh, one, two, three, that one there. A little bit of corrugated roof in there as well. I don't think this is wide enough you know to be honest I've not made this wide enough I just wonder if I should now I'm at the window a bit smaller there we go uh, we've got boarded up window there that doesn't look very good does it I don't know as if I'm going to have my windows boarded up that's kind of not Now, something's definitely going wrong here. I'll need to be a bit higher there. There, and it stops. These, there's not enough gap in those. Let's just go and erase it. Take some of that. Maybe a bit lower. And that goes sort of like I make it. I made them too. I drew them too big. That was the problem. That's better. Clean that up a bit. In fact, it's it's all about observation. You know, if you if you lose concentration for just a few seconds. It can all go pear shaped. That's better. There. Bit of a down pipe there. That's better. It's all coming together now. I struggle quite a bit with that sketch, I don't know. There we go, in there. I'm rushing now, <laughs> I want to get it done. 
Right, that's my initial drawing done. Now I'm going back to the pen and I'm going to be bad and bold. That's more like it. I love this pen that you can just do really fine lines and you can press on and you can get real dark. Look at that. Solid colour. Just love that. Guy. Nice thick lines. Mm -hmm. There we go. I suppose that, you know, that stripy shirting, that's like very typical, isn't it? It's, it's sort of exactly what you'd expect them to wear. So I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to put that, make sure it has got that wearing that. Right, so I'm going to um, ignore that boat, as I said, and just sort of improvise there a little bit. Now, I can take, I missed a doorway out, haven't I? And some brickwork and stuff. Oh, well, I can, I can totally improvise on that. There we go. Let's put the doorway in. So it comes in there. We'll have the guy in as well, I think. Just an indication of him. I really like using this app where I don't, I deliberately don't zoom in. So it's like working with a real sheet of paper. Where you, you know, you can't zoom in on that. Although I have to admit, I have used magnifying glasses from time to time. Notice I'm not doing like perfectly horizontal lines. That's not what I'm into here. <laughs> that might be a little bit. In fact, let's just undo that a bit more. There we go. Let's see if I can. That's better. Try and get it in in one. That's better. And down that side. So this is going to be a pen and ink drawing, as I say, with lots of colour. So I'm going to press on now. Um, with the drawing, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. And hopefully when I come back, we can add some colour.
Right, um, I've done the drawing, that's all the ink and in done, and now I'm going to use the uh, this marker pen, I guess, and I, and I want to use it because I think um, it's not going to smudge the black ink, that's what I'm hoping. Look at that. So, see what I mean about bold colour? I, I, I don't want to mess about with... Um, light little wood colors i want this to be big and bold if i choose that color yeah and i can color those in and this isn't the kind of drawing where i'm worried about staying within lines i i'm allowed to um, go over black lines where I want and leave little white gaps now should I darken it even more I know I've done some matching here but I don't know what do you think? Now, I just said I didn't want to go over the lines, but I want to keep... Oh, I can't use the eraser, can I? If I use the eraser, it takes out my pencil line. <gasps> Shocking. Okay. Um, I can use white ink, though, can't I? Just to get that out, that's it. There we go. If I just um, double tap that, I can make it a bit darker and just add some darker colors in. Is that too dark? be a bit too dark that's probably better ah the problem is I can't get rid of that really dark that's just subtle isn't it that's just a little bit darker that's kind of what we want so when you go over a colour that's it you you stuck you're not you can't um, can't get it get back to that original light color so make it just a tad darker now and a tad warmer there we are so you can go lighter but you can't go Sorry, you can go darker, but you can't get back to lighter. There. I like it. Oh, I've got this nice green colour, so I can sort of pull that on that all there like that and uh, any more greens I want a lighter version of that a bit grayer maybe like that that's it oh and I want to go back to the dark again about there just for this bit.
So there we have it, a ink drawing with uh, marker pens to colour it in, in um, paper by WeTransfer. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of videos like this. In fact, I've got over 500 videos on this channel like this. I'd love to be sharing them all with you. So hopefully, um, I'll see you all in the next one. And don't forget everybody, stay safe, stay sane, and keep painting. Bye.